Hi everybody, it's Friday afternoon, one o'clock in London, and I'm here to give you your end of the week Pilates stretch and strengthening session. We'll be here for 45 minutes. Just going to use a couple of bits of equipment today if you happen to have them at home. A long resistance band and a pair of light weights. So keeping it really simple on the equipment front. But again, if you don't have those things, don't worry about it. You can still do the routine without just kind of go through the motions of imagining you're holding equipment even if you don't have it. So we're going to start standing up and I want you to look at your feet. Make sure your toes and heels are in a line. Just spread your toes out a little bit. Press into the big toe. Draw your abdominals in. Take a breath. And then as you breathe out, lift your heels up off the mat. Your hands reaching up to the ceiling, reaching through the crown of the head. As you inhale, reach your arms out to the side. Drop your heels down. Drop your chin to your chest. Round the spine and roll yourself all the way down over your legs. Just hanging there, letting the weight of your body take you down. Stretching the hamstrings and we're going to start nodding through your head. And then shake your head side to side. Good. Bend your knees, get your hands down to the mat, and we're going to walk forward, breathing out as you come forward. Lift the head, slide the shoulders down the back, zip the core in, and squeeze your glutes a little bit. We're going to tap your right knee down, exhale, lift, lower your left knee down, and lift. Just alternate knees right, and left, and right, and left. Then lift both knees up, we're going to do both knees down. And up, four more, breathe in as you lower, breathe out as you lift, last three, press them out away, press into your fingertips, last two, one more, lift the knees, and then lift your hips all the way up, press back into your heels, really arch the back, a nice stretch here, big inhale, and then walk your hands back to your feet. Again, just letting the weight of that body hang over those legs. And then we start softening the knees before we start building, re-stacking your spine, rolling yourself slowly, slowly up. Shoulders and head come up last. Again, inhale, lift the arms overhead. Exhale, reach the fingertips, grow nice and tall, narrow waist. And then reach your arms out to the side, chin to chest, rounded spine. And again, slowly rolling all the way down. Just letting the weight of that head take you down to the mat. Swing left and right, just relax your lower back. Come back to the center, bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight. Then switch, left knee bends, right leg straight. One more time each way, right knee bends. And then bend the left knee, soften both knees, hands all the way down, walking forward once again, breathing out as you come out into your plank. Lift the head, slide the shoulders down, and right drop the knee under the body, and back. We're gonna alternate sides, knee under, just reaching the knee to the opposite elbow. Stay there for eight, seven. Try to connect, touch the knee to the elbow if you can, dropping that hip. Last three, and two, one. Back into your plank, zip the core in a little tighter, slide the shoulders down, and now we're gonna take the hand, touch the opposite shoulder, turning into upper body. Eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, Two and one. Now drop down to your elbows. Now you lower your hips, lift your head, pull your elbows back towards your toes, your toes towards your elbows. Squeeze your inner thighs together and just hold here for a of eight. So squeeze the glutes a little bit. Keep your breath flowing. Last four, three, two, and one. Knees down. Sit back onto your heels. Stretch your arms. Rest your head. Good. Drag your hands back. And flip yourself over onto your back. Now we're going to reach your arms overhead. Stretch the legs out long. Take a big breath in. Breathe out. Lift the hands. Lift the head. Curl your spine up off the mat. Stretch forward. Inhale. Straighten up the back. Shoulders down. Exhale. Round the spine. Scoop. Point the toes. Squeeze the legs together. Resist gravity as you come down to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. Stretch forward, straighten up the back, and then around the spine as you come back down. Inhale. Last one here, breathing out, slowly rolling up, reach forward, straighten the back, and then we're going to come halfway back. Just hold here. Roll your shoulders back. Lift the chest up, lift your chin up, and then lift your legs up. Inhale, lower. It's like you're trying to grab your ankles. 
and lower. Keep the chest nice and proud. Now, if you struggle with this at all, just alternate the legs. Just do right leg and left. If you can't get those legs straight, even with a bent knee, it still is working. The hip flexors, your abdominals. Last two and lower. Last one and down. And then slowly roll your upper body all the way down to the mat. Take a big breath in. Sweep your hands around to your sides and then lift your right knee up to our tabletop position. Lift your left knee up to tabletop. Just push the sides of your waist together, drawing the belly button in. Slip your fingers under your lower back. Make sure you're in a neutral spine. So we're not pressing or jamming that lower back into the mat. Then lift your head and shoulders up. Draw the belly button in again. Pump the air, breathing in. Two, three, four, breathe out. If you can, stretch the legs. I always like to let, have a little turn up, heels together, toes up. So I have a little bead between my heels. That helps get the inner thighs really working. It helps with the pelvic floor lift. Breathe out. Two, three, four. Breathe in. Really reach the arms long. Keep the shoulders high. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four more breaths. Breathing in. Three more. Breathe out. Slip the inner thighs together. Last two. Make sure the shoulders are high. Last one, two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. Good. Take the shoulders back. Pull the knees in. Turn your head to the right to stretch your neck. And then turn it to the left. Come back to the center. Take your hands behind your head. We're going to breathe out. Lift the shoulders. Stretch your legs long. Turn your toes out. Scoop the belly button in. And then inhale. Shoulders back. Bend the knees. Exhale, right, so shoulders high, legs long. Add that rotation, that turn up, zip the inner thighs, lift the pelvic floor, scoop the lower abdominals. Inhale, shoulders down, bend the knees. Two more times, head and shoulders up. Stretch the legs, turn out those toes, heels together, zip the inner thighs, zip the lower abdominals, and back. Last one, shoulders up, legs long, little rotation. And hug the knees in. Now let's keep the head down for the moment. Extend your left leg out. Keep the right knee into the chest. Then we're going to keep that lower back pressing down. Lift your head, lift your shoulders, reaching your nose towards your knee. Switch the legs. Now if you need a little support of the back of the head, feel free to take your hand to the back so we're not straining the neck. Or you can modify this by dropping the head down. Stay here for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Now pull both knees in. If you've dropped your head down, lift it back up. Come right up onto the tips of your shoulder blades. Then breathe out both arms and legs. Big stretch. Inhale, tuck it. Now if you want to make this more challenging, grab your light weights and put the weights in your hands. Say there's six more. And tuck. Last five. And four. Three. Two more. Last one. Holding the last one for four. Three, two, and one. Take the shoulders back. Again, turn the head just to stretch your neck. Good. All right. Lift your knees up to tabletop. Take your hands off the edges of the mat. Really glue your shoulders down. Try to maintain neutral spine. So again, we've got that little space under your lower back. But button your ribs towards your hips. I'm going to drop both knees down to the right as you turn your head to the left. Exhale, lift the knees as if those knees are sliding along the wall. Don't let them creep in to here. They stay right above the hips. Inhale, lower. Turn the head. Exhale, up. Two more. Inhale as you drop. Let gravity take those knees as far as they can go without forcing it. Exhale, lift. Last one. Inhale, down. And exhale, coming back the midline. Now take your hands behind your head. Lift your toes up to the ceiling. Get a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Lift your head and shoulders up off the mat. I'm going to drop the left leg to the floor. The right leg goes halfway. I'm going to really stretch that leg. Lift this quad muscle. Lift your kneecap. Add a little turn up, a little rotation, and then tiny circles with that right leg. Looking at your pelvis, buttoning your ribs towards your hips, drawing your belly button in. If you want to advance this, we hover the lower leg up. But try to keep the movement isolated to that top leg. That's two and one. Get the chest a little higher, elbows a little wider. Reverse your circles, eight the other way. Again, keep stretching through that toe. Feel that quad muscle working. Option to have that lower leg. Stay there for three, two, and one. Now take the shoulders down, pull your knees in. Just recover, reset. Toes back up to the ceiling, hands behind the head. 
Head and shoulders up. Right leg to the floor, left leg halfway. Turn out, and then small circles again. Think about that quad, just really toning that muscle there, scooping and hollowing the abdominals, keeping your shoulders high up off the mats. You're trying to get right up over those ribs. Hold the last one, reverse your circles. Option to hover that lower leg. That's gonna make it much more challenging getting into that lower back if you don't have the strength. Stay there for three, two, and one. Take the shoulders down, pull your knees in, and take a big breath. Let it go. Good. We're gonna roll ourselves up to sitting, and I want you to grab your resistance band. Send your legs out and wrap a band around your feet. Cross the band in front, so you've got a little V, uh, sorry, a little X actually, in front of your feet, so you've got that cross. I want you to go from a rounded spine up into a perfectly straight back, and string out of the top of the head, really try to tilt that pelvis forward so that tailbone's almost got arching towards that back wall. I'm gonna wrap your elbows around, holding your band, inhale, take it forward. Exhale, pull back. And just think about really lengthening as much as you can, narrowing your waist, wrapping those corset muscles around your middle to try to help you support that length through the spine as we strengthen our shoulders and our upper back. Sit there for more. Feel free to shorten the band if you don't feel like there's enough resistance or tension. If you don't have a band, just really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze the muscles as you pull back. Last one. Now extend your arms out. We're going to round the spine again and then roll back. And up. Try to balance. Pull your arms apart. Again, roll back to the shoulders. Up. And try to hold your balance. Pull those hands apart. Two more times. Lift. And lower, it's all about control, hold. Last one, lifts and lower. And then we're just gonna try to lower the legs down and up, down. Sort of like what we did at the beginning, but now we've got that band to help us. Last three, two, this works your arms a little bit as well. Last one, now we're gonna roll your upper body back, slide a bit more length through your hands and then press your feet down into that loop. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, lower. So your head and shoulders are down. Inhale, lift. So this is kind of modified, taken from a reformer exercise. So imagine you're kind of resting on that carriage. The carriage would be rolling up and then rolling down as you move the legs. So keep that fluidity through the movement as you lower and lift. Two more, get that hamstring stretch at the top. So almost pulling those hands to the floor behind you, last one, down and up. And now we're gonna roll up once again. Again, let's see if you can hold your balance, maybe shortening that band a little bit if you need to. And then we're gonna do one more set here, straight back. Uh, actually, let's hold it a little closer to get that tension, pull back and forth for six, and five, four. So a little taller, narrow the waist, two, now I'm going to turn this into a tricep exercise. I want you to fold forward over your legs as much as you, your hamstrings will allow. Slide a little bit of length through your hands and then extend your arms behind you. So getting into our triceps here. Extend and bend. Try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. Shoulder blades together behind your back. Your elbows are above and behind your spine. Feet flexed. Four more. And three. So really kind of squeeze at the top two. And again, squeeze as you extend the arms. We're gonna hold that last one, hold there for four, three, two, and one. Now keeping that band there, we're gonna roll back onto your back, but now just the right foot is in your band. I want you to uncross it and have your elbows out to your sides. The left foot is directly under your left knee. So really use that band to help you get that leg straight, really flex the foot. And then we're gonna exhale, lift the hips, and lower. Imagine balancing a teacup on the sole of your foot. Now with the hips, try to get them as high as you can go and then touch the mat each time. So don't cheat by just doing up an inch, down an inch. This is a big movement, high to low. Stay there for four and three. Last two. Now we're gonna hold the hips up and then breathe out. Press into that band to lower the leg. Inhale, lift it back up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower. Keeping your pressure on your left foot, keeping that left glute working. Think about really toning that muscle. 
As you move and stretch the right leg, last three. So again, the breath, exhale as you lower, inhale as you lift, and one, and up. Now I'm gonna turn this into a scissor, into a abdominal exercise before we change sides. So open your arms out wide, lift your head, lift your shoulders, pull your knee through that band, left toe to the ceiling, tuck your foot back through the band, right leg up. So you use that band really wide to get that stretch. Head and shoulders are up, or if you wanna modify, head and shoulders can be down. Now if you don't have a band, so just kind of imagine, I'm imagining I've got a band around my right foot. So the arms and the leg travel at the same speed. That's two and one. Come back to your starting point and then switch legs. So now your left foot is into that band. Relax the shoulders. Make sure you have enough tension. Elbows down on the mat, foot flex, get the leg as straight as you can. Right foot is directly under your knee. We're gonna press into that right heel to lift the hips high. Inhale down again, remember, full range of motion. Up and down, touch the mat each time, but without resting, it's almost like you're bouncing up. Down, bounce, lift, touch and lift. Like that touch gives you the energy to get as high as you can. Stay there, three. Keep the core tight, narrow the waist. Hold the last one, breathe out, lower that left leg down, inhale, lift it up, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, get that full range of motion, get the foot just past the right knee, then up to the ceiling, three more, keep pressing to that right foot, two, last one, and lift, and then drop your hips down, open your arms wide, lift your head, pull the right knee through the band, stretch the right leg up, Tuck it back. Good. It's quite a graceful movement. Feels good to just get that stretch. We're also thinking about keeping your chin into your chest, your ribs towards your hips. Your lower back is pressing into the mat. Last three. And two. One more. Out and back. And then both feet into your band and then roll yourself up. Good, all right, I'm gonna pop the band away and flip over to all fours. Now I'm going to come down to your elbows, slide your right leg back, zip your core up and away, shoulders down away from the ears, and then lift that leg up and down, high to low. Stay there for four and three, two, Hold the next one up. Now bend the knee, point the toe to the ceiling, pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Now breathe in, bend the knee to lift that lower back as you drop the knee. Exhale, stretch the leg out. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, stretch the leg. So really squeeze that right glute with each lift, each extension. The left leg, that left knee um, is straight under your left hip and that hip is quite strong as well. Last two, and reach, squeeze. Last one, reach up, squeeze, hold. Now slowly lower that foot back down to the mat, lift the lower back, zip the belly button in, tap the foot out and back. Up and over, up and back. Keep the energy in the movement, tap, lift, tap, lift for four and three. Last two, and then hold the last one, toes at the corner of the mat or just off the edge of the mat. Rotate the leg out, we're gonna lift the leg up and now we need to squeeze that muscle. So it's the corner of your hip pocket. That's where we feel that twitch through that glute. It's a little bit on the outside of the leg. So that little turnout, lifting that leg up to the corner of the room at a diagonal, stay there four. And three, last two, squeezing at the top. Hold this last one, circle that leg long, four, three, two, and hold to lift a little higher, reverse, four, three, two, and one. Drop the right knee down, sit back onto your heels, stretch out your back, stretch out your hips, rest your head. And then we're gonna go through that on the other side, then we're gonna have a quick sip of water, taking a break. So try to push through if you can. Send your left leg, shoulders away from the ears, lift that lower back, lift the leg, and lower. High to low, again, squeezing that glute at the top of the movement. 
keeping your right leg really strong. So you're standing like now, has a little bit of burn still left over from working on the other side. Try to use that and really squeeze those muscles. Try to hold on to that burn. Stay there for three and two. Hold the last one up. Now we're gonna bend the knee, knees come together. Stretch, lift, squeeze at the top. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, squeeze. Stay there for six. Use your exhale. Keep the core strong, keep your upper body strong. Try to pull your elbows slightly apart. Last one, extend and hold, lift a little higher, and then slowly resist gravity as you come back down to the mat. Lift that lower back slightly as the foot comes down, tap the foot out and in, up and over, up and back. Almost again, like that tap, that tap of the mat gives you the energy, tap, lift, tap, lift. Stay the six and five, keep everything else still. Four and three, keep the control, keep the head slightly up, two, one. Now we finish with that toe at the corner of your mat or just off the edge of the mat. Point the toe, rotate the leg outward, exhale, lift the leg, squeeze at the top. Again, think about that corner of your hip pocket. That's where you want to feel this, that's where you get that twitch of the muscle. Stay there for six. Try to get your foot above your hip, reaching up to the top left corner of the room. Last three. Keep the standing leg strong, two, and then hold the last one up, four circles, long, strong leg, four, three, two, one, reverse, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees back together, sit back onto your heels, rest your head on the mat, and then drag your hands back, roll your shoulders out, just releasing any tension that's built up, and find your water bottle and have a sip of water. Changing position again. We're gonna do, come back to our abdominals and our C curve. So now I want you to pick up your weights. Pull your knees in slightly. Your feet are about a fist distance apart. So your feet, your knees and hips are all in line. So take your fist, place a loose fist between those knees. That's where we wanna keep those knees. Now, weights are optional. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. It's an option to grab those weights if you have them. We're gonna tilt the pelvis, scoop the belly around your spine, roll yourself back, and then hover your hands or your weights just above those knees. Turn your elbows out. Now we're gonna breathe out, come down an inch, inhale, lift up. So try not to, I don't want you here, it's not this, it's really low. Down an inch and up an inch. When I come up, my weights are just above the knees. No, not in front. When I roll back, they're coming a few inches behind the knees. We're opening up the lower back, zipping and scooping the abdominals. Feel this all pulling in. Stay there for four. Keep your feet glued to the mat. Three. Last two. And then hold the last one. Now turn out to one side. Just reach that arm up. Inhale back to the center. Turn to the right. Exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. And twist and center. Now keep the fingertips together in front of you, making that circle with your arms. Bring it out, lift the arms overhead. Inhale down, three more. Lift and lower. Elbows wide, two and down. Last one, hold there for four, three, two, and one. Take your hands back to the knees and stretch out your back. Inhale. As you exhale, we're going to do the same to the left. So tilt the pelvis, scoop the belly around the spine, turn to your left, elbow, elbows open, shoulders down, zip the core in, come down an inch, up an inch. Make sure your shoulders are facing your hands, your hands aren't in here, they're a little bit away from you. Check those knees haven't pulled together or aren't leaning to the right. Stay there for four, neck long, three, last two, zip and tone those abdominals, Hold the last one. Now exhale, arms overhead. That circle of the arms goes overhead. Inhale down. Option to alternate if you want to modify. Two more. Lift and lower. Last one. High to low. Hands to the knees and stretch everything out. With big inhale. Other side. Tilt the pelvis. Scoop the belly back into our C curve. Imagine a large letter C behind you. Large, small letter C through your abdominals. Turn to the right. Elbows out, shoulders down, and then exhale, down an inch, up an inch, opening up the lower back, scooping tighter those abdominals. Stay there for six, five, keep the shoulders facing the hands, turn a little further if you can, three, 
Keep your neck relaxed. Two. Last one. Hold. Exhale four times. Arms overhead. Option to do alternating arms. Lift. And now we keep the shoulders facing that right corner of your mat. Two. And down. Feet stuck to the mat. One. And down. Hands back to the knees and stretch. Great. Okay. Now pop your weights away and pick up your bands once again. Feel free to grab another quick sip of water. Now lay the band over the top of your knees, cross it underneath, and then hold on top. So you've got a double wrap around those knees. We're gonna flip onto your side, and we're gonna do two sets of eight lifts with the knee and the foot. So that's about 16, somewhere around there, should be. So I usually, usually use counts of eight because I usually do my classes to music, and eights work really well with music better than tens. So that's just kind of lingering. Hopefully you've got some music at home that you can use to keep you motivated. I've got music in my head. Good. One more set of eight. Eight. Seven. Shoulders down. Zip the core. Keep your breath flowing. Two. Hold the last one. Now circle the knee. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Reverse. Six the other way. Five. Do six because eight's like a little bit too, too much with this one. Two and one. Feet together, knees together. Straighten up your back. Check your shoulders are down. Check your core is strong. Then lift the knee. Again, we're going to go back to our eights. Two, three, four. Feet stay together. Really lift that knee. Exhale with each one. That's number eight. Eight down, hunting down. Eight, seven. Feel this muscle working. Six, five. Four, get that space between the knees. Three, two, hold it up. Four sets of eight, little pulses, double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four. So I'm just jiggling that top leg, keeping the breath flowing. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knee, pat out any burn from that muscle, any tension, and then take your band away. Stretch your legs out. Shoulders back. So imagine like a little saw, zipping the ribs down, zipping the belly button, hips are stacked. So there's nothing through here. Everything's pulling in. And lift the legs up, knee up to the ceiling, toe reaches up to the ceiling. Flex your feet, lengthen through the heel as those heels come back together. Lift that lower leg up to the top leg. Bend the knee, kick the toe up, flexed foot, keep your top shoulder back. And again, bend, extend. And reach, last one. Knee points to the ceiling, toe to the ceiling, and then stretch everything along. Point those toes, just lengthen one inch further, zip the core a little tighter, lift that leg straight up to the ceiling, bend the knee, sweep the toe along the lower leg, squeeze the glutes at the bottom. Lift, bend, sweep from knee to heel, and squeeze. Two more, lift, bend, sweep, get that friction, squeeze in if I squeeze the glutes, last one, bend, Sweep and squeeze. Now we're gonna let the head come down. Tuck your fingers under the lower part of the waist. Try to get that oblique lifting up and away. And we're gonna circle the top leg. Six, five, four. So we take this hand up to the ceiling. Three, two, and one. Reverse. Six the other way. Five, four, three. Lift that lower leg just up off the mat. Two, and one. Flex your feet. Scissor both legs. Eight. Seven, keep ribs to hips, no movement through the hips, no movement through the spine. Four, three, both legs straight, two, one, legs back together. Last set, really kick the heels away, stretch from the top of the head to the soles of your feet, and lift the top leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let everything come down. Drop your knee forward, open your arms really wide, and look over the, walk, the, the hand behind you. And that circle that arm all the way around to the front, and then circle it up and over, just starting a semi-circle with that arm. One more time each way. And back. Good. Knees together, flip yourself over, starting with that band. Lay the band across the knees, cross it underneath, and hold it on top. So you get that nice tight wrap. When you pull your knees to about hip distance apart, there should be some good tension in the band. So don't have it too tight. 
So it's cutting off your circulation, nor too loose, so you're not getting that extra resistance. Now, if you don't have a band at home, use your hand to add some resistance. Just imagine that hand really heavy on your knee. So again, we're gonna aim for 16, two, three, four, get that squeeze in your glute, glute medius, like the side of the glute. Eight more, counting down, eight, seven, make each one count, no rocking backwards, five, four, three, two, hold it up, again on a little circle, so aiming for six, five, think up and around, three, two, and hold, five, six the other way, six, five, four, three, two, and one, feet together, knees together, straighten up the back, Exhale, lift the knee. Get some space between those knees, but don't rock back. Three, four, five. Really stretching that band. Seven, eight. Counting down now from eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Double time pulse at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just jiggle that top leg. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knees come back together, pat out any tension through that muscle. Okay, keep the band off. Stretch the legs out, shoulders back, zip the core. Again, imagine that side just kind of zipping those ribs, checking the hips are, are stacked, knees are kind of in line with your hips. Bend the knee, toe to ceiling. Flex foot, heels back together, lift that lower leg up to the top leg. Bend, extend, and reach three more. Knee up, open up the hip. So notice any difference from one side to the other, if there's any clunking or cracking um, that you notice, then just kind of squeeze those muscles just to support those joints a little bit more. Any kind of sound without pain is okay, but just good to be aware of where you're tight. Point the toes, roll your shoulders back, zip the core a little tighter, squeeze the legs together, then lift the top leg, bend the knee, sweep, squeeze the inner thigh, squeeze glutes, lift, bend, again, each time you get those legs back together, get that squeeze, three more, bend, sweep. Trying to lift that lower leg up into that toe as they come back together, last one, lift, bend, sweep, squeeze, and let your head come down, tuck your fingers under the part, lower part of the waist, just to get that hourglass shape through the body. So just narrowing and with your transverse abdominis, your corset muscle, one of the most important muscles, the most important muscle, I had to say, after the tongue maybe, you can eat. Do that four, three, two, small circles with the top leg, reverse your circles, eight the other way. Seven, six, five, four, keep the rest of the body still, isolate the movement to that leg. So the lower leg is strong, but still, hold the last one. Flex your feet, scissor the legs. Eight, seven, six. No bend in the knee, no movement through the pelvis, through the ribs, through the, anywhere in the torso. Four, three, two, one. Legs come back together. Just stretch everything a little longer. Zip the belly button in tighter, and then lift that top leg eight times. And seven, imagine lift, you're lifting a heavy weight. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Drop the feet down, drop your top knee forward. Reach your arms out, back to the hands, stretch the foot. Look to the ceiling, try to look to that wall behind you. And then circle the arm over your head until the hands come together like a book. Circle it, sweep it back over your head, like open out, really stretching through those fingertips. One more circle each way, just semi-circles. Again, drawing a little rainbow. Sweeping it back and stretch. And then last time, just coming all the way back together. And we're gonna come up to sitting. Good. So cross your knees or sit. If you're more comfortable with your legs out, that's fine. Or with your heels together. Or if you wanna grab a cushion or something, sit a little higher. I'm sitting with a perfectly long, straight back. And we're gonna grab your band. So we're gonna do just a little bit of work on your biceps and triceps, on your shoulders, your deltoids, but all the while thinking about the core 
as well as the foundation of all movements. We start with that strong foundation, drawing the belly button in, lifting the pelvic floor, finding our perfect alignment, reaching the string out of the top of the head. I'm going to hold your band fairly short, so quite close to your hips, and then take your elbows to the outside, to the front of your rib cage. Roll your knuckles up to the ceiling, open your shoulders out wide, and then exhale, reach the arms out into a big wide W. So like you're offering up a heavy tray. Keep the leg through the spine, keep wrapping those muscles around your middle. Stay there, eight, and seven, six. Again, if you don't have a band, you just squeeze. Really think about it. you're kind of really pushing up a heavy weight. That's three, and two, Hold the last one up, little pulses there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more sets. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull the elbows back in. Open the shoulders out. Let's just open, work more on mobility. Keeping the elbows into the sides of the rib cage as you open out and back. Again, offering out and back. Just notice any tightness in one side or the other. Keep reaching to the crown of the head. Last one. Now take the hands to the front. Slide a little bit more band through your hands to give yourself a little more length. Think string out of the top of the head again. Zip that core in. Exhale, lift and lower. Lift and lower. So I was trying to add a pelvic floor lift as I'm lifting the arms. It just makes sure it helps you to kind of initiate from your deepest abdominals. Exhale, lift and lower. Four more, so when you lift that pelvic floor, it just engages your transverse abdominus. Last two, which supports your lower back, everything connected. Hold, holding this last one up, now bend your elbows, elbows out into a W shape. Exhale, lift overhead, inhale, bend. Exhale, lift for three, try to keep your neck relaxed, keep any tension through the core. So think about actively relaxing your neck, but tightening your abdominals. Last one, up and hold, and then just reach your arms slowly, slowly, slowly back down to the mat. Come up off of your band and fold it in two, so it's doubled. We're gonna hold it in your right hand with your pinky pointing up to the ceiling, and then grab the lower end with your left hand. So your right elbow is right up to that head, your upper arm close to your ear, and we extend the arm and bend. Extend and bend. So you can see what's happening here behind me. You can see that the lower part of the band is at the base of my spine. My upper arm always stays close to that ear. Stay there for six. Keep moving. Five, four. Keep your rib to hip connection. Keep your alignment. Keep the core. Three, two. We're going to hold the last one for four. Three, two. One again. Bend and extend. Hold for four. Three. Really stretching, lifting that elbow up to the shoulder. Last one. Extend and hold for four. Three, two, and one. Now try to change sides by just twisting that band behind your back. Left elbow right up to your head. Left upper arm next to that ear. Extend and bend. Lift and lower. Say there's six, five, four. Lower arm stays close to the base of your spine. Exhale with each extension. Let's do a few more, four more. Three, two, and hold this last one. Squeeze, lift that elbow up towards the shoulder. Inhale back, exhale, squeeze, shortening that muscle, lift, hold. Two more times, holding with each extension. Last one, lift up and hold. And then here's your little reward. You just reach the arms behind you, get that really stretch through the chest, arms down to the front. So your band should be double. And we just lift, reach behind to open up the chest. Reach it over. So that one should just feel good. One more time each way. Back. And forward. And then drop the band. Flip over onto your front. Good. So we're going to start with your hands stacked one on top of the other. Forehead resting on the back of your hands. Now find a little millimeter of space under those abdominals. Just lifting the belly button in. You can slide a piece of paper out from the abdominals. I'm going to keep your feet hip width apart for the moment. We're going to exhale, lift the chest, keep the hands stuck to that forehead, inhale, lower. And lift and lower. Stay there for more. 
three, last two, and one. Now as the chest comes down, I'm going to zip the heels together. So your heels are touching, your toes are turned out, your inner thighs are touching. So imagine that piece of paper we slid out from the abdominals. We're now trying to hold it between our inner thighs. So really get that inner thigh connection, squeeze the glutes, find that definition through those muscles. Exhale, lift the chest, lift the legs. Inhale down. So keeping the legs together, heels together. Stay there for four. And three, reaching from the top of the head to the tips of the toes. Two more. Holding this last one up, holding there for four. Three, shoulders down, two, and one. Lower the chest, step your feet out to the corners of the mat, still with a little turn out, heels turning in. Send your arms, thumbs point up to the ceiling. We're just gonna lift the chest to start. Sliding those pinkies in, sliding them away. Pressing into the mat to lift and lengthen the spine. Inhale, lower. Press those pinkies down to lift and lower. Now turn the palms down to the floor. Lift your right arm and left leg. Lift your chest and then switch. Left arm, right leg. Switch. So chest stays high. Opposite arm and leg. Moving. Narrow waist. Four, three, two, one. One, now drop everything down, add a little rock side to side, just to relax any tension through your lower back. Inhale to prepare, exhale up into a superman pose, and then a fast flutter. Same number eight, seven, squeezing the glutes, working into the shoulders. Last four, three, two, and hold, stretch a little longer, go an inch higher, one more set, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we tuck the hands back down along your side. Now we need to walk your feet in a, a little closer and just lift the chest. Turn the pinkies up to the ceiling. Look down at your mat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And lower. One more time with the feet down. Okay. So low. And now we're going to lift the legs as well. Squeeze the glutes. glutes but keep the feet hip with the heart. And down. That's a lift. Shoulder blades together. We'll lift those arms. Reach the fingertips down. Legs and lower. Two more. Reach the back of the neck nice and long. Last one. Hold there for four, three, two, and one. And take your hands under your shoulders. Sit back onto your heels. Toes together. Knees apart. Rest your head. Take your right hand to the right edge of your mat. Left hand stacks on top. Stretch those fingers to the right corner of the room as you sit back into your left heel. And then change the left hand to the left edge of the mat. Right hand stacks on top. Sit back into the right heel as you stretch over to your left. Come back to the center. Coming to all fours. Just gonna extend the right arm and left leg. Finding your balance. Breathe out round the spine. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, stretch. And then changing straight to the other side. Three on the other side. Left arm, right leg. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, stretch. And again, tuck knee to forehead, round the spine. Reach the fingers, reach the, through the toes. Last one, breathing out. And in. And then down. Step your hands a little further apart. And take your right foot through the middle of your hands. Now again, drop those hips. I'm imagining someone's kind of pushing your hips down from behind. So you feel a stretch through your left hip flexor, the front of your left hip. Hands on your knees, look up to the ceiling. I'm going to take that elbow, opposite elbow to knee, kind of tucking against that knee as you turn your shoulders, looking over to the wall behind you. And then take your hands either side of your foot and drop your knee out to the side. So, so you can see what I'm doing. The knee just drops out there. You're on the outer edge of that foot. And then ease yourself down towards the mat. Good. Just bending the elbows, a little bit of a sway, left and right. The foot is right between your hands in the middle of your mat. And then we're gonna stretch it back. So working into a hamstring now. So on that heel, pull those toes in, arch the lower back to get that hamstring stretch to the front leg. And then last one on the side, we lift that back foot. Hand comes left hand to left foot, pulling in. So I haven't actually switched sides. I just turned myself around so you can see what I'm doing. Now we go over the other side. So left foot is forward. Hands either side of that foot. Imagine somebody's pushing those hips down. 
Doing that hip flexor stretch, come up to the knee, look up to the ceiling, tuck your right elbow to the outside of your left knee, look over your left shoulder. Hands either side of your foot and straighten up that leg. Then do my glute stretch. I'll do that one next. Come forward. Now I'm going to turn the knee out to the side so you're on the outer edge of that foot. So you can see my foot's kind of turned out. Sole of the foot kind of pointing in this direction. Elbows out wide. Just drop the chest. Add a little bit of sway left and right. So that should just get into your hip. The more you open that knee out, the more you'll, you'll feel the stretch in your hip. And then to your glute. And straighten up the legs. Lift your right foot. Come up to the knee. And cramping, maybe pressing that foot back into that hand. Good. Right, we're going to come back to sitting. One more stretch into like our V sit. Toes pointing up to the ceiling. We're going to slide the opposite hand towards the opposite foot. So pinky against the pinky toe, other arm reaching behind. Inhale, straighten, lengthen the spine, turn, reach. Imagine you're trying to saw your pinky toe off with that pinky finger. So this one, classic Pilates exercise called the saw because you are trying to saw off that toe. Inhale, lift, switch, and reach, and back. Good, now we're just gonna take the elbow to the inside of the knee, reach the arm overhead, just turning torso to the front. And then change it, so just lengthening, sliding the elbow to the inside of the knee, reaching the arm overhead, turning the torso. And back. Sweep your feet together. Come to all fours, chin to chest, rounded spine. Toes tucked under, turn it into your downward dog, lift the tailbone up, press into your heels, pedal through the feet. Both heels down, and then we walk back. To your feet, hang over the legs, wrap around the backs of the legs, nod your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Hang the hands down, knees bend, and just slowly coming up, re-stacking, articulating every joint in your spine. Shoulders and head up last. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, heels together, inner thighs touching, squeeze the glutes, hold your balance, and then reach out to the sides and finish with the fingers behind the back. Great, well done. Hope you enjoyed your stretch today. And I hope you'll tune in again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Um, check the full schedule for next week also on the YouTube channel and on Instagram. So do follow us on Instagram, Get Broked, and on YouTube, Get Broke Pilates, and we'll see you soon.